So if you are a YouTuber who's just starting out or if you're planning to start a brand new channel, here are 4 simple life hacks that you can do to level up your YouTube game without paying a cent. And in this video, I'll be showing you how to fake b-rolls and slider shots without real equipment, a little tip to get a cinematic effect in your videos and an awesome source for that sick bucket effect. And I'll be doing a v2 of this series based on how you guys like it. So if you want more of this content, go ahead get subscribed to the channel and let me know in the comment section below. And with that said, let's begin. So let's start off with b rolls You probably know how to do it with a tripod, but what if you don't have one? Well, one thing that you can do is to use an office chair instead of a tripod. And I bet you wouldn't have thought that I shot all the b-rolls in my channel using an office chair if I didn't tell you. So how exactly do we get the most out of it? Okay, so to adjust the height, I use books and to get that smooth professional pants, what I basically do is to tie a rubber band on the chair and I pull that instead of the chair to avoid any small vibrations which results in that buttery smooth pad. So the next simple trick would turn out to be a great source for that sick buck hair effect that you're trying to have in your videos. Just take a paperweight that's lying around and place it on the flashlight of your phone and there you go, a zero dollar solution for that epic buck hair. Now let's see a little trick to make your footage more cinematic using the black bus. So I have my footage all loaded and set in Adobe Premiere Pro and the simplest method to do it is to create a new adjustment layer and to search for an effect called crop. And once you've done that, go to the effects control panel and set 10% on the top and 10% on the bottom. I actually got this idea from Armando Ferrara who basically is a tech YouTuber and he's got a full video on how to get a cinematic look in your videos. So do check it out if you're interested and I'll leave a link for you in the description. Now in this hack, I'm going to show you guys how to fake a slider shot. It may not be the ultimate solution for a perfect slider shot, but it's good enough for short slides. So to do this, first thing you have to do is to record a steady shot of whatever you need. And in the Adobe Premiere Pro, select the footage in the timeline and go to the effects control panel. There you will see a drop down menu labeled motion. Now you will have to increase the scale of your video a little bit and move it all the way to the left and click on this small icon to create a keyframe. Now go to the end of the video and move the footage to the right and you will see a new keyframe over there. And there you go, you just made an awesome slider shot. So guys that's it for today and if you found it helpful or if you have an easier trick to do any of the hacks mentioned above or if there's anything for you to tell, feel free to express it in the comment section below and I'll see you there in the comments. Up with it girl, rock with it girl, show them it girl, with a bang bang, bounce with it girl, dance with it girl.